To use Google Docs and Google Presentations, all you need is a Google account. If you need a Google account, simply go to www.google.com, click on Sign In in the top right corner, and then click on Create a free, an account for free over here on the left. If you already have a Google account, simply go to docs.google.com. Log in with your account information. And get started. You can either create a new document or upload an existing file. Almost any file type will work. And then you can save your documents online and share them with other people. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Google presentation. Click on the Create button and choose Presentation. This program is very similar to PowerPoint or Keynote. And uh, you're going to start by choosing a theme. It's fairly limited in here, but you can choose a theme that you think will work for your presentation. Select the one you want and click OK. That can be changed later if you would like. Now you simply click on the box and type to give your presentation a title, for example, or to say who it's by. If you want to add new slides to the presentation, you can click the plus button over here on the left. Or you can even click the drop down button to choose which type of slide you'd like to add. Again, simply type in your heading, what you would like to say on this slide, and add elements. You have the typical formatting elements here that you would have available in PowerPoint or another presentation software. So we have bullets over here on the right. You can outdent and indent information. You can format text, the color, underlining, italicizing, bolding, changing the font size and type, and a number of other elements. You can also add text boxes, shapes, images, hyperlinks, and a variety of other media. If you go to the Insert menu, it'll show you the things that you can add. You can add video directly from YouTube and embed it here in your presentation, which is fairly convenient. And you can also animate your bullets. So if you want each one to come in one at a time, you simply add this animation sec or use this animation section. Now, one of the great things about Google Presentations is that you can share this presentation with others, meaning it becomes a collaborative effort. If you click on the Share button here on the right, it'll bring up the sharing settings. Right now, this presentation is private. For your class purposes, you may want to make this a public presentation so that others in your class or your teacher will be able to see it. So you can change that setting to either public on the web or anyone with the link, just depending on what you want to do. So I'm going to click public on the web but I don't want anybody to edit it. I just want my group. So I'm going to click Save. Now, if I want to allow other people to edit this document, for example, my group members, I simply add their email addresses down here below. And click Share. When I've added everybody that I want to be an editor on this document, I click Done. Now, anybody that I've invited can come in and edit this document as well. When we're all done, it's a really good idea to come over here to File and Publish to the Web. That's going to make certain that you can uh, share this document with anybody, no matter what, that they'll be able to see it whether they have a Google account or not. It's just a really good idea when you're submitting as an assignment so that you're sure your instructor can see the information. So you'll click the Start Publishing button and click OK. That then gives you a link for the presentation as well as an embed code so you can actually put the presentation right into uh, a web page, for example. I'm going to go ahead and close that box. And that's the basics of using Google Presentation.